Alrighty, so I went up the scene here and I put these on layers. So let's go with the light one first. And it looks like this is where you have your uh, animation. I actually usually, it's just totally strange, but I do these usually like that. So you must have an orthographic side. That's how I would judge things here. Let's go to the end so we understand how long. And in here, the graph editor. And in here, the perspective mode, which we don't really need. So looking at this here, if I just look at the ball itself, it's a bit long in its hang time. And it gets very slow towards the end here in terms of timing. And I think you need to have a bit more accelerated um, drops there. So I see what you have here. So I'm going to go in and adjust these a little bit. Just a bit here, and especially towards the end. Do that. You also seem to have weighted tangents, which I usually don't use. Not that that is a, um, like a workflow, you know, don't do that. It's just kind of my slide preference to be a bit more in charge. I'm actually going to keep this fairly faster-ish there. Let's see what you have. So as the ball comes in, it, it still, to me, takes too long. And I would personally go in there and see what you have. Because you can drag these. And I will give this just a bit more time and a bit more of a drop. So you have boom, a bit more of that. Same thing here. So you go here, boom. Even the, it still feels just too long in terms of how long it takes for that ball to come down. And because of that, I'm going to just adjust this just a bit more. Okay. And because of that, lengthen or shorten this a little bit. Again, I prefer this to do with actual keys. That feels better. That feels a bit better. So that we can probably go in here and, and even go crazy. Let's go crazy. I will probably do that. Can get us a lot um, less time to go in there. Boom, 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 boom. So that one would have to be faster. It's almost like you could have one more, but then what you can do is just reuse this. Do we have a frame? We have a frame in there. And even start reducing these just a bit more in terms of what's going on. I see. What in the... That with a little bit of a drop. So you want your hang time just to be exaggerated enough. So we go up, hold a bit longer. Just a tad. Same thing. So you have to adjust the in and out just a bit more. Just a bit more. And bring this in a bit. Let me just see. You want that feeling of doom, doom, doom. Then it gets again too slow. Once we are around here, you can see that width is the same. Clearly, that's not a good idea. I will go even further and go more like that and more like this. Let's just. Let's keep it like that. It's curious. And then we go 
to a... I think keep this really short. Again, to me, either setting more keys or not weight attendance where I can go in there and add, add a key here to adjust things and then, and then tweak the tangents is a bit more of a cleaner workflow for me because I just have more control because I have more keys. Doesn't mean again that it's right. I'm just curious um, what you, clearly you have this. I'm just curious if that's something you picked up, that's what you prefer. Dun, 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 dun. Feels a bit better. If we ignore the rotations, dun, 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 dun. feels like at the end, we could have one more. Ooh, my hockey's not there. No. What's going on? Strange. You have to painfully watch me go through this, but that's why I wanted to record it so you can kind of see what's going on. And then again, just not a massive fan of these. even if it's a bit too much at the end. And then let me just see what's going on here. Oh, okay, that's me doing this. And then that feels like it's going on a bit too long. So once you reach around um, that area, We'll probably get this a bit of a, um, a longer ease in, more like that, with a slight, <clears throat> with a slight rollback. So as you go there, again, it's just stuff like that. If I do some like a quick variation there and switch to uh, weight attendance and I would leave it like that where we have I mean, that's both of them but leave it at like a slight slight rollback hold on let's see okay that is tiny tiny huh? and roll back So you have a drop, 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 and roll back. It might even be going in there. Hold this a bit longer. Don't go as far. Hold that roll a bit longer. That might be too much at the end, but I'm just curious. Don't do too no. Just that. Um, 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 That's my dog. <laughs> anyway, that is that. All right, switching to medium here. Let's look at this. If you look at the curves here, you can see that that is kind of missing what we did before. So even if you do weighted, you would have to go out a bit more and push these curves. Not that what I'm going to do here is right, but. It will just give you a bit of a, a longer hang time. And so on. And then you get back to the even timing. Because if you have this like that, if your curve is like this, you're just going to end up having, you'll end up having instead of, you know, right now you have this where it goes like that. And you want that. Oh, it's literally that. The curvature you have in in the graph editor here, let me go back. This, not this, this is really representing your trajectory in Y here. This is why bouncing ball from the side is so, is so good. So if you look at how straight that path is of the ball going left, top, down to the right, if you go and you extend that, whoa, where you have just a bit longer hang time, you're gonna have to tweak that a little bit. You're gonna do the same thing here. Let's clumsily 
and adjust this here. And you can see now how the curvature has more of a roll down, up, roll down. So if you play this, doing, doing, and then it gets back to the even timing, you will see the difference. And also this, watch out. You did this right in the other one. You have to make sure that this gets into the proper long stop too. So as you do this, boom, 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 boom. and probably because we're still bouncing, I will continue on. Boom, 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 boom. Roll and then roll back a bit in the same. And then the heavy one, let's just see what the heavy one's doing here. All right, you got kind of the same thing. You see how even go back here. You want to avoid this. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's go freehand here. So you want to avoid a line that's too straight like this. You want to make sure that it has that bong, bong versus straight, straight the way you have it here. And let me see what the heavy wall is in here. All right. So for the heavy one, it's going to be one. You can bring that out a little bit, but it's going to be much faster in its drop because it is so heavy. It's a bit fast, there I say. Even for me, it's fast. So you have that, and then you're going to have one bounce, and it's not going to go very high. I'm going to give this three frames, even though I think it's going to be too long. And then after that, you really have a tiny, tiny one, which we might even do over, over one frame. Bring this over. Bring this over and then you have to, I mean, at this point it's one frame, it doesn't matter, but you have to look at how high. So this will be super minimal, just as a little thing. This, of course, uh, you know, interpolations of wouldn't work, but I don't really have to adjust this given that it's one frame, but depends how you render this. My dog is going crazy. Might as well do it like this. Give it some hang time, not too much, because it's not that light. I love that you're getting my dog in the background here. Let me just see how this feels. I have no idea what this looks like. Let me see. All right. So just the drops. And actually, let me turn this off. Curves. Nerf curves. That feels a bit better. You have an immediate drop with one bounce and a small little adjustment there. And it's probably going to stop rolling around there. So same thing. Take this guy. This is going to be very heavy. So it's going to be fairly slow flatten this here. Let me see what you have here. So if it drops, boom, boom, and then around here, you should start rolling. Okay. Boom, boom. That's not too bad. And even this one, you can have a little bit of a, what we did before. Slight roll stop there. Let's see if we can go crazy. Yeah, let me just go there and actually change this to normal independence. And then flatten that guy. Let's see. All right, just like before, kind of underestimating how long this takes and not going back as far. So it would be a bit longer to go over there and that should be okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And let me roll this in here. So that's what I would look for in a heavy one. So you got that immediate drop, a little bit of a bounce, a slight second adjustment bounce, boop, boop, a little bit. It's a fine line because you want it to be too stroby. Mine is almost too stroby. With a nice little, not too long of a roll because it's still fairly heavy. With a little bit of a coming back. And I, I feel like we can, to be honest, uh, why is this here? Go a bit longer. Just a tad. Maybe something like this. Let's see here. It's not too bad. Once you go in there, I always feel like, well, what if we give this a bit more time? And then it starts going just, okay, well, how much longer? Oh, all right, I got this. I love my dog. That's probably more like it. All right. Doom, doom, doom. That's that. 
All right. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm also going to save this and then send this back to you. Um, obviously, don't copy it. Otherwise, you won't learn anything. <laughs> but hopefully that is helpful. Um, and that is that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.